Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Ghostbusters the video game. We're taking on Stay Puft while escorting the Ecto-1 through Manhattan's ruined streets, discover why Stay Puft has re-manifested, and eliminate all paranormal entities. So let's continue the story. It's a very cinematic story style of game. It's pretty much just a movie in which you get to interact. First level, we were at the Sedgwick Hotel. I wanted to make sure I pronounced it right. And now we're going down the destroyed roads of New York. Assumedly destroyed by Stay Puffed. I guess we're gonna just escort it. Or do I go up ahead and move forward. I can't get a scan on him. So I guess I'm gonna have to get closer. Get moving! This residue is animating. Gordon, help us. Stay puffed is somehow hatching these mini minions from himself. Well there's Ooh. paranormal physiology for you. Cooked marshmallow bits. Nabble some little yarpers. Yep. They look so darn tasty. Blast them! We scan them so we get a new spirit guide. We're also trying to not do too much destruction. It actually shows More trouble. how much destruction you can you've done. That feels like something you should shoot, but it isn't. Inbound. Ray, prepare the muon trap. Switching on the muon trap. Oh yeah. Switched on me. Alright, so now we've got a trap on top of the of the Ecto-1, which is a new concept. So instead of having a weak trap, let's see, slam. Get in there. I dreaded you when you were alive. You're worse. Missing ghosts. Get that one in there. Oh, oh, what? Big soap shortage in the afterlife, guys? Oh, great. Can you stop? No, not if we're gonna catch up to our old friend. So the ghost is way over there. All right here. Stuck in the road. <laughs> You can see I'm not doing too well. You're only encouraging them. Finkman, we need to have a talk about tolerance. I think this is the first time I've actually uh actually had to deal with life. Feels like the first level was impossible to die on. Here they come. So we're hitting the wrong guy. We got the fourth member of the Ghostbusters in in the story. They, he caught up. He was on a date. So now we can move forward. It doesn't feel like there's anything to scan here. Doritos truck. I can't help but feel like Doritos paid for some product placement. And now we've got something new, gargoyles, or gargoyles possessed by ghost. Let's get that scan in there. We want to get as much of a scan as we can, a nice good scan. I'm not doing very good on it. Ghosts and gargoyles. Game we played when I was in the seminary. Ghosts and gargoyles. What dink game didn't you play? Do you have your eight-sided dice with you? Oh, 
Who's this guy? Got it. So you can see you can slam them into this. Uh, you can slam them into the trap if you're careful enough. Yeah, I've got the gargoyle scan now. How about this guy? Yep. I'm down. Let me back up. Now that's probably because I'm playing in casual. I'd imagine there is a potential game over. But for a movie, which is really what this is, I'm gonna say it a lot too. I kind of feel this is more of a movie hidden in the form of a video game. Of course the guys are never gonna, you're not gonna be able to game over. Let's see, slam them this way, and wrangle them this way. Time to reload, cool down my proton pack. Come on. There's another one. Looks like one of the Ghostbusters is in the red at the top right there. Run! Do I have a run button? I have a jump button, but... That's it. I was trying to assist him up. Help him back up, but it didn't work. What, what, what's, uh, what, do we, what do we do? It's not vaporizing fast enough. There's too much of it. Damn. It was starting to make good time. I thought it couldn't become any harder to get around Manhattan. Any ideas? Well, we're not getting through that way now. Hey, cut through this alley. We might be able to head off space off. <laughs> Notice you can't burn or damage the Doritos truck. But the police car seems to damage just fine. I've had just about enough of the marshmallow parade. Let's go see if we can find us a shortcut. You with me? Am I supposed to shoot this or I'm supposed to scout ahead? And then what? Maybe I'm supposed to get in the car? Hmm. Doesn't look like I can go this way. And I can't interact with him. Oh no, I have to come over here in this building. Didn't even see it. They should have taken control away from me so, so I could have seen it with the camera. Now I kind of prefer being in an area like this that's more focused than just a wider area where there's a lot more to potentially scan. Are you kidding me? Haunted laundromat? Uh. Are we trying to scan? Are we trying to scan something or are we trying to shoot something? I guess this way opened up for us. All we're getting is green little peaks. Here's a blue though. That's ah, a collectible somewhere hidden. Here. Enchanted whatever toolbox. That looks like our ticket. That tank is leaking gas all over the place. That is a serious safety hazard, man. I wanted to test these first, but since we're waiving that safety step today anyway, you should be aware that I modified the Patrona wand, which normally releases the particle stream. Wow, it's like Christmas game early. Earlier than what? They started Christmas before Halloween this year. Santa came to my house dressed as Dracula. Trying to hit some rats Only here. Dog should do the trick. Is 
So now we have to do a bosun dart with the left trigger. So you do this. You guys might want to stand back. How far exactly? Back. Way back. <laughs> Way back. Super Let's band Friday night. Great job, kid. Yeah. Combustible gasoline. It's the future. Keegan, once again on the Super Slammer. I, uh, I'll get my horn. It's a prototype, Peter. You recall the memo from you about getting too many memos on prototypes? Well, I did write that. We mounted a high expansion rapid cycle multiple ghost absorbers. It's faster and larger than our portable units. Am I in jeopardy? Is this a big enough stick? To roast this guy? Okay, okay. Potentially, but our exposure to interdimensional deities has been only marginal to date, so it would be wise to anticipate some error. Somebody needs to go. So we've got something here to find. Bottle of cough syrup. So, new equipment that's never been in the uh, Ghostbusters movie before with the blaster. That's helpful. That's nice for a video game to have more than a couple, uh, an extra thing to do. We now have a couple of things to do. We can wander around and scan things. And I suppose anytime we are anywhere close to let's see I missed that ghost come here. No, come here. Hmm. so that's stinks that I missed a ghost but it's probably not gonna matter we're burning daylight pilgrim can we get out of here Forward we go. I, I feel like the rookie that's just playing with all the toys, and that's pretty much all I am. Hindenburg, the opera. Wasn't that show shut down when the stage caught fire and killed the cast? I read the reviews. Oh, the humanity. You had to say that. That's right. Ruthless producer. He just reopened it last week. There must be something really bad about this place. Hmm. Grab a full scan. Good idea. You should probably have a look around. Guess that means we're not alone. Yep. These are unusual flux patterns. Whoa, wait. Don't touch that. That's what I thought. Black slime. Black slime is a hazardous form of ectoplasmic residue. Toxic to both body and soul. It's very dangerous. Egon and I haven't developed clothes and boots sufficient enough to insulate against the negative psychokinetic effects of this stuff yet, so be careful. In other words, the stains don't ever come out. So, here they come. Watch yourself. We got an opera singer ghost now to take on. Coming out of portals. Interesting. So we're gonna see several different types of of ghosts. I almost said zombies. I guess Ghostbusters should be applauded for never going the zombie route. Uh, we get too many ghost uh, zombie games already. Not enough ghost ones, I would say. Probably. Uh, 
and definitely not enough Ghostbusters games. There was one, like, Ghostbusters arcade game that came out after this, I think. But, that's the only thing. It was called, what, Ghostbusters Sanctuary of Slime, I think was the name of it. Uh, I haven't ever played it. I would be interested in playing it eventually, but I doubt I'd want to play two Ghostbuster games, and this one by far looks like the better choice of the two. Now I will say on the story, we, we haven't really gotten anywhere in the story yet. We're still very much just trying to maneuver ourselves from point A to point B. There's the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. It's a big mess and we are crossing the streams. It seems like the other guys don't actually have a slam ability. That may have been explained better in the story if I wasn't paying attention. Or not. It's pretty high number of ghosts you have to take out in some of these areas. You'd think, I would think you'd rather it be a little bit more, them a little stronger and not so many of them. But it's not like these guys are, there's a hundred of them and you're just grinding for no reason. He just did a service to humanity, kid. Hindenburg is a terrible show. Square post urban renewal, all shiny and clean. I love it. Say, is that he? It's hard to miss. I'm surprised it says soda there instead of Mountain Dew. A lot closer than this. What's he up to here? Something or someone. I guess I shouldn't be too mean about Doritos doing product placements. Doritos Crash Course was actually a very fun game. Authorities are doing everything they can to quell the panic and maintain order. It is madness out here. The Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, star of the popular children's television show, is on a rampage. This is not the Stay Puffed we've come to love. Fortunately, the Ghostbusters have arrived to put everything back to normal. It's damaged. I've got to fix it or we won't stand a chance. We need to get from here to there. Make sure the big boy doesn't find whatever he's looking for. Good strategy. It's dangerous, though. That's a lot of open ground to cover. All right, sport. Looks like it's me and you. Let's go across Times Square and get into the building. Stay puffed is so interesting. You guys keep him off us if you think you can. He knows you're there, Ray. I don't think he likes it. Yep, he spotted us. Keep moving. So, of the New York right, Times Squares I've seen, and I've seen a lot of them in video the games, this is a really nice model. I love the scale on this. Uh, Marvel superheroes had a uh, Lego Marvel superheroes at a Times Square that was really small uh, prototype. Boson darts. I believe. Uh, nice boson. That really dinged him. Great job. Now see if he wants s'more. Get it? I'm funny too, you know. Let's see. Like, yeah, prototype was a, a had a Times Square that was pretty cool. Uh, I won't go through uh, any more of them, but. This is a Mason really covers. good Times Square. Close to me and as far away from him as you can. So we're doing this fight, and I think it's just a boss fight. Bankman, you've got to distract him. There is no you Stay Puffed show, as far as I know. Uh, the Mitchell and Man is kind of what he looks like. So he's a fictional character. Series. 
Yeah, throwing the boson darts does not seem to really do anything to him though. Soften him up with your boson darts. He seems to be throwing the little marshmallow pieces. He picks up them up and then throws them and then they turn into monsters, I think. Question is, where is he picking them up from? Does he just pick up any group of junk and that's it? Now one boson dart just does this. So that cleared the path finally. That took a little too long. That's the problem with some of these cinematic fights. You, you just are... You end up running into the... Defeat this guy three times before the story goes forward. And the hints here are not helpful enough. Like, I'm not even really leaving any electrical burns on him myself. There's a guy right next to me. Am I not using boson darts? That would make no sense. There's our way in. Break for it. So let's get back into the to a building and start scanning for things, because that's what I'm good at. Just a level five bot form cross rip. The professionals are here. Everybody calm. Everybody's running. Look at those terrible animations of those people running. A boson works pretty good when there's a group of them. Uh oh, he didn't find what he was looking for on the bottom floors. Come on, we've got to get to the top floors. What is Stay Puffed looking for? Here we can see they're cheating a little bit, loading in different levels with the elevators. They should have done it with a stairs, since they were going to show a cutscene anyways. Uh, they could have made a good joke to say, oh boy, it's a walk up. Secretly knew our lives would be in danger and thought, hey, I'll make sure I trap Mark with me inside an elevator. <laughs> Stay with me, Haas. I'm sure there's more fun up ahead. Anything to scan? One thing I want to do though is quickly go over to the equipment. We can look and see all the stuff we've equipped, we've scanned up to this point. Not a, a lot, really. Just two new things. And let's purchase some of our upgrades, because we have it already. Let's go ahead and get Fast Trap. Uh, slam Dunk Trapping. That way I can Slam Dunk things. A PKE Recharge Boost, which I don't know what that does, but we probably want it. And then boson damage immunity would be nice. If we could afford it, that's 1400 boson dart supercharge for 1200 regard. And stream recoil decrease would be good. Uh, I think we want the blast stream before we get anything else upgraded. To the rescue. A little door in the way. Huh? 
Could be trouble. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely is trouble. Running around. I guess if he has the PK meter out, I should. Interesting thought. Can I interact and drink water? I guess I can. Gives you the creeps, huh? Interesting. There's a ghost around here. Definitely ghosts. Where are the ghosts? Feel like they're just in the middle of the room. No sudden movements. Okay, it sure got quiet all of a sudden. It's in this model. No, it's not in the model. Where did it go? Interesting. Oh, oh, here's something. We'll take this. Where are the ghosts? This is really cool. I've rarely had this experience where it's actually fun and not just super easy and obvious. Uh, where the ghosts are. They're moving, but they're invisible. It's like... They're moving around, and they're moving around kind of fast, too. Strictly speaking, you're supposed to respond to those. Come on, ghosts. Maybe I'm moving too fast. No way to get that promotion, rookie. Hmm, I'm taking too long. Alright, let's try this again and move uh, slower. No, it is that they're moving. They are moving and causing trouble. Let's just shoot this and see if we can destroy it. Nope. That didn't help. Track it with your PK meter cadet. Hmm. I was trying to see if maybe the D-pad would be a little bit smoother or controller. Come on. This is a real challenge. Strictly speaking, you're supposed to respond to those. I guess I have to go faster. This is taking too long. No. Oh. Come on, where is it, where is it, where is it? Do full spin. It feels like they're no moving from desk. Working. Feels like they're quickly moving between desks. Okay, that was mostly my fault, but partially the people's fault too. Make sure I scan it. Make a hole. 
I can't wait till I stop getting knocked down by my own blast. So every one of these I take out is ten dollars. I'm probably doing more than ten dollars in damage with each shot. This is the full-on like alien movie reference, but done pretty well. They're coming from the vent. Like crazed hormonal teenagers on a post-final exam bender. Good shooting. <laughs> So the blast doesn't work very well, unless it's the last thing you're willing to do for a while. Question is, is there any other collectibles over there? Somebody screamed for help, so I shouldn't be scanning, I should be running. Oh man! Beckman, come in please. There's pandemonium up here. Chunks of the building missing everywhere. You are required at the site now. So happy to be in demand, but these sugar balls have got me nailed down. I can't get past them. They're disgusting, and they're unhealthy. Ah, uh, did I mention there's a spectacularly beautiful lady in distress? I'll be right there. So, that would have been a great opportunity to scan. Showtime. No! Somebody help me! Easy now, miss. Just relax. No sudden movements. You're perfectly safe now. Sudden movement! Sudden movement! Shoot the hand as much as possible. We're getting knocked back down. What are we supposed to do here? There we go, finally. I have a lack of balance here, considering I'm playing on casual. Wow, check it out, kid. What a view, huh? Manhattan, I love it. It is a nice looking Manhattan. Nice skybox, nice buildings. Not super detailed, but it matches the rest of the design uh, of the game pretty decently. You're just lucky to have met someone as special as me. Is this the girl we've seen twice before? You're fine. You didn't spill your coffee, did you, Peter? Ray, I got coffee for all of us. But the little monster spilled it. And what's the story with those things anyway? What? Was that a manifestation of ghosts? Uh, yeah, probably. It just made me think. Would you like to take the most direct route out of here? Scanner. Make sure There's she's a not a ghost. Here. Let's go. Woo. Yeah, Grace under pressure. I appreciate that. Anyway. Okay, Slugger, let's you and me do this quick and quiet before Tubby Soft Squeeze out there figures out what we're up to. I think Tubby Soft Squeeze has dog ears, Ray. <laughs> Escape the building. We go up then to the roof. Why do we go up? Oh, that's why we go up. He should have triggered that if I walked the other way. Let's stay out of scan mode. Well, help. Stay puffed and spotted us. Move, move. Hmm. Nothing around here, it seems. So continue we to run. Not much longer, cadet. This is a good way they get the size of Stay Puff. That way. Well, that's 
which, let's face it, they've kind of animated them bigger and smaller to their convenience. Uh, because in the movie, at times he was huge, and then at other times he was. He's been pretty small in this game. I threw out the trap. Let's get this guy. Reload as he's hiding. That's the stuff. Where is he? There he is. Run! And slam. Slam. Slam him down. One more in the box. Pick up that trap. Put out a trap, will ya? Oops. There was another ghost. Right in the bread basket. So apparently the traps can hold an infinite amount of trap of ghosts. Which I don't think was true. We got some new upgrades we can purchase. I don't think now would be a good time to purchase them, though. Ooh, birds. So a blast of the boson darts probably works decent. Slam him in the trap. Still seeing ghost activity. Turn around. Moving. I wanna like run over here and see if there's a possible collectible in this little corner Get here. here. We run into collectibles pretty frequently. I guess not. This is probably just where monsters spawn. I wish there was a more jingle to when you're close to s something, but it's fine. This game's not long enough that the collectibles would be a pain to to go back and get them if you missed a couple. Strong signal. Find a way off the rooftop. How about down there? Knock him off the building. Great job, you guys. Ah, three scores for everybody from 54th Street to 5th Avenue. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Here we go! Thank you, Taylor, all the way to the... Oh! Not quite, didn't make it. Hey, Ray, say three guys. The size of your finger. Knock you off the side of a 30-story building. Well, you had to climb all the way back up to the terrible apartment. How, how mad would you be if those three little babies cut it? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh, okay, and throw in a sugar pot, too. That giant blue and white toy man thing. Or whatever. It's still coming. It's climbing the building. Wow, he even looks old in in cartoon form. I got the super slammer back on pulse and echo one is rolling. Repositioning now. Can you hold the stay up there for a few minutes? If by few you mean less than one, then sure we can do that. Somebody tell you it was break time? No sweat, kid. We've got you. Well, as long as you're bound, would you see if you could knock off Mr. Sweet? <laughs> They're just gonna dangle me on the side of the building. A lot of the jokes in the Ghostbuster movies end in this are right, kind of subtle. Right. Are you okay? You're all strapped in. We've got a good tight grip on your belt. Here he comes. The Big Daddy manifestation himself! A raging glob of densely packed marshmallow! 
<laughs> How many can he generate? From 200,000 square feet of solid marshmallow? So this is a cool perspective shift. Look at all these guys that are coming after me. Can't go in the scan mode, so we know we're just focusing on trying to burn him here. They're holding me on the side of the building. There we go. So I wonder if I'm even supposed to be firing or if I'm just supposed to hit him with the bows on darts. I think I need to do a little bit of both. I think I need to do a little bit of both. We're slowly getting his life down. Shoot his hat. Real big leaguer out there, champ. Ray, Peter, we're in position. The trap is set. We're prepared to capture Stay Puff. Where is he? He's that <laughs> white puddle you're driving through. Timing's off by just a hair, Egon, but we're glad the trap is working again. I guess I owe you guys my life. She's clean. How do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. So far, just another screwed up day at the office. You know, I never forget a face attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Cedric Hotel. You gave me the sideshow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa, Dr. Alyssa Selwyn. And I am Dr. Peter Reichman. And that's Sir Egon. Sir Ray. Nice to meet you, dear. You met him. Uh -huh. I don't know if they got the Winston voice actor uh, actor in here for very long or very much. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building, and then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. The Sedgwick. The Sedgwick doesn't have a 13th floor. It was pulling me like a magnet. I felt as though I was in a deep dream. I came to and ran over here. Here? It's a temporary office while I'm in town. I came to do some research after I woke up. We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. Would you like to go out for Thai? Mexican? Japanese? <laughs> wow, Dr. Venkman. That time you almost went 45 seconds without saying something abrasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? A doctor and a fiery one, too. Charming. So charming. So, we've got a little bit more to do. Let's take a moment to upgrade our equipment as best as we can. We'll go through this whole list. This, I believe, would be the only way you would know if you didn't scan something. If that's important, it probably would help you get some more money. I just did one upgrade, and that was all my money, but I only have, like, two more upgrades to even get right now. Let's see. So, can I interact with the toaster? Toaster, yes. Billiard table, no. He's just always playing this game. What game is he playing? Is it like Galaga? Qbert? Let's see. It's kind of funny as this was labeled as EAHD Games. What an interest... not... was it? He did... no it was Atari HD Games. Which is quite a strange... Uh, 
label to call your games HD. Here we can see something we've collected and as we collect more things they will be placed around the place, the house. Like here's a glowing phone that I think we collected. I would assume that anything that shows up and glows is probably one of our collection. Uh, it's for always haunted items so we're just filling the house with haunted items. Ooh a pink toilet seat. And you can see that other one on the right, if I can get that angle just right again, was pretty dirty looking. So haunted blueprints, what else can we see? The toaster was a haunted item. Can we interact with everything that's haunted? No. Is Winston, can't talk to him. I could talk to her and start the ne next cutscene. This was one we, I think, scanned too. Or I could come down here and I could run around some more. I think it's probably a little pointless to one run around too much. Uh, you'll get probably a handful of other opportunities. Call me Vigo the Despised or Vigo the Unholy. Ghostbusters, what do you want? Never mind. So he's actually talking to you, the, go the Vigo the Destroyer. Here's Slimers back here. We can drink from the water. There's another picture we collected. So we're decorating our house, our firehouse, which is an interesting gameplay mechanic for a Ghostbusters game, but not bad by any sense. Can't go back down here. Helps you feel a sense of accomplishment, I suppose. Anywho, let's finish off this interview and when we get to the next section or about to the next section where we need to get in the car, so you know we'll so end this episode. Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily, Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. Strictly farm king deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiff on invites to opening night is just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That gentleman was all me. <laughs> and I can assure you it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Jeanine. You're first class to look at. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so. But I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. <laughs> Please, tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Peck around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. <laughs> Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. 
<laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. And that's where your old friend Pet comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect pet for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? PCOC, <laughs> Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clowns' operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now, just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. <laughs> Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Bankman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on me. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun gliding? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. <laughs> Hello, Ghostbusters. So, we are ready to leave. There's another haunted one we collected. So, we've... We're ready to leave and go to the next level, and that's what we will do in the next recording. Pretty good so far. Enjoying it. Very movie-like experience. So it's not too much you can really say about the gameplay, but it's not like it's completely missing. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name right now. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.